This just happened. This is my first ever NFT. And there's a cool story behind it. Last week, I was invited to be part of an art exhibition. Well, kinda. It was an art exhibition where I needed to present one digital artwork to be created as an NFT that will be part of an exhibition with 99 more artworks by artists from all over the world presenting one NFT each. This exhibition was organized by the most famous artists to create a super big and amazing digital art exhibition where people could visit and buy the artworks. This exhibition went live last Friday and since then all hell broke loose. People are going crazy over the exhibition. The artworks of the exhibition has been sold already for more than 200 Ethereum, so like a half a million dollars in three days. So how did this all happen? And what the hell is an NFT? So this all started last week when I saw this Instagram post by the most famous artist looking for artists to submit for a new exhibition he was organizing. The most famous artist is this artist that does these amazing creative art projects. Once he did an exhibition all of portraits of Kanye West, another time he painted a whole house pink, all of it, and once he created a photo opportunity that made it look like you were in a private jet so you could take your picture and show off on Instagram. The idea behind the exhibition was to get 100 digital artworks created as NFTs from artists all over the world. It just happens that all the artworks needed to feature Beeple. Beeple is this amazing digital artist. He's been creating one artwork a day over the last 13 years, every day with no stop. He does amazing work. He's super famous. And it just happens that two months ago, he did his own very first NFT drop. And it sold out in a weekend for over $3.5 million selling digital art over a weekend. After that, I was like, I need to get into this straight away. No time to lose. I went over and started creating this Beeple artwork. I grabbed the slightly unflattering picture of the artist and created a Greek bust out of it with tropical colors and some tiger stripes. You know, very kitsch.
sent that over to the most famous artist and while I waited for the exhibition to go live I figured out that this is a good time as ever to figure out what is this NFT thing that you're getting yourself into. So, what the hell is an NFT? After a week of researching on the internet, I kind of came to the understanding of it something like this. But by all means, don't take my advice too seriously because I just learned what all of this is last week. So bear with me. Imagine this is Natasha. Natasha is a digital artist. She does amazing digital animations and illustrations. People love her work. She has an audience of millions that would love to buy her work and support her career. But buying digital art is tricky. If Natasha made paintings, it would be easier to support her. Since she could sell the painting, the buyer takes the painting home, and everybody is happy. Possession of the artwork and a certificate of purchase and a certificate of authenticity and other paperwork make it easy for everybody to know who the owner of an artwork is. But how could she track the owner of her art if her art is a JPEG or a video file? It's hard to convince people to buy if you can easily copy and paste the artwork or freely download it from her social media. Well, that's where NFTs come in. An NFT is a certificate of authenticity for a digital file. It says that this file is unique and places the information of the blockchain. Easily available for everyone to see. It's kind of like a Bitcoin in the sense that it's created and attributed it to somebody and has clear ownership. But while every Bitcoin is basically identical, each NFT is unique. Even if multiple copies of a digital artwork are sold, each copy is unique and has a specific ownership certificate. So, by creating an NFT, Natasha is able to sell her digital art and track each person that bought that work by giving them a certificate that says that that person bought my work and paid X amount of money for it. This information is open for all of us to see. So even if someone copies and saves the image from the website, it has no value since it doesn't have the certificate that says who bought it. But beyond that, these NFT artworks can be resold multiple times and change hands very fast. And each time they get resold at a profit, the creator sees a cut in that profit, meaning that if somebody resells Natasha's NFTs in the future, she'll profit from it too. Traditionally, if someone resold art in the auction, the artist would never see a cut of that profit. By now you can understand the game changer that NFT can be in the art world. It's quickly gaining footage, as more established institutions bring attention to it, with Christie's hosting their first NFT auction in the near future. With that in mind came Friday, the day of the most famous artist, Bepal, art exhibition, NFT drop, and my artwork together with 99 amazing artists from all over the world were there available for people to check out and buy. Things got crazy. Like over the next couple of hours after the drop, people were going crazy with the artworks. They were being sold between 0.1 and 5 Ethereum and the limited edition ones were going out super fast. The goal of the exhibition was to sell $1 million out of NFTs and we were halfway there uh, three days after the launch. By the time this video dropped, uh, my pieces have been sold 17 times at 0.1 Ethereum each. Uh, there are other artists just already sold out all of them. Uh, people are really enjoying this. Uh, they're going crazy for copies of digital art. It's crazy. I'm just like super grateful about being part of this exhibition. Super happy with the results. Happy for uh, all the other artists involved. We're doing great job, such amazing art, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. Want to thank out uh, most famous artists for making it happen. With this in mind, I'm really uh, looking forward to see what I can do with NFTs from now on. 
I think it's something that I'm going to start incorporating into my art career as well. I love doing digital art and want to experiment more with it. And it just feels like this could be a format for creators to um, promote and sell and finance their career. So I'm very excited for the format NFT and how well it's going to be uh, adopted and implemented into people's art careers. But where to start, uh, where to what to make my first personal NFT drop about? Well, over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be discussing some ideas that I've been having on to how to use this format and even some group projects that maybe you would like to send some art to. So if you have any ideas about NFT, want to trade some ideas or come up with some evil plans, just let me know. Until then, see you next time and stay creative, guys.